Hey everybody, welcome to How-To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This is part two of looking at normal probability distributions, percentages, and so on. We were in the middle of solving part C and we had to switch over to part two of our presentation. We were looking at if a female is randomly selected, find the probability that her height is between 60.25 inches and 65.5 inches. Remember that female height is random, is normally distributed with a mean of 64.5 inches and a standard deviation of 3.25 inches. So this question saying, what's the probability or percentage that our female is between these two heights? And in order to answer this question with a Z table, we know that we first have to figure out exactly how many standard deviations this value is from the mean and how many standard deviations this value is from the mean. And of course, in order to do that, we use our standard formula. We take our value x, we subtract the mean, we divide by the number of standard deviations, and that gives us our z value. And that's exactly what we did here. We took our smaller value, subtracted the mean, divided by the number of standard deviations, and that gave us minus 1.31. We then took our larger, our upper bound value, subtracted the mean, divided by the standard deviation, and that gave us 0.31. And then we concluded, okay, we need to then look at the Z table and figure out what percentage or what area under the curve is between minus 1.31 standard deviations and positive 0.31. Here's how we do that. First, we're going to look for minus 1.31. So here's our Z table. This is just a standard Z table that I found online. Generally, you'll find them in the appendix of your book. And I'm looking for a Z value of minus 1.3, but it's 1.31. So you'll notice these numbers up here kind of combine on. This is minus 3.40 minus 3.41, this is for minus 3.42, minus 3.43, and so on. So they go to two significant decimal places. But I'm looking for minus 1.31. That's going to be right there. Minus 1.31. So that's 0 0.0951. That's going to be the first value that I need to know here. So I'm going to write it down. 0 0.09 Five, one. That was my smaller value. That's actually the area under the curve up to minus 1.31 standard deviations from the mean. Now I need to know the area of the curve that's all the way up to 0.31. So let's get back to this Z table here. I'm looking for 0.31. Alright, here's 0.3 and here is 0.31. So that's 0.6217. I need to write that number down, 0.6217. Now, the important point in here is that I want the area between these two values. So I need to take my 0 .2, 0 0.6217 area, that's about 62% of the curve, but I need to subtract away my 0 0.0951. I need to subtract that away because that's the area of the curve that's up to minus 1.31. I want the part that's between minus 1.31 and 0.31. And that's what this result will give me. And this comes out to be 0.5266, which is the same as about 52.66%. And that's approximately the number of females or in this case, if I select a female, that's my chance of her being between 60.25 and 65.5 inches. And that's how we do that entire problem. All right, let's see another example. Let's scoot that one back up a little bit. Now, in this case, it's similar to the problem we just solved, but we're asking in this case if we select a sample of 55 different females and we want to find the probability that their mean height, all of their, their average height, is between, again, these two values. Now, this is different from our other problem because in the problem we just solved, we had only one female. 
But when we select a sample of females and we want to see whether that sample is between two values, we have to use the central limit style formula to get our z values. And that looks like this. We take the sample mean, we subtract it from our known population mean, and we're going to divide this by the standard deviation. So far it looks exactly the same, but we have to divide our standard deviation first by the square root of n. So that's the formula that we're going to use whenever we're actually looking for a sample of data. And we need to get the z-scores for that. So how does this work? All right, well, we want to see how many females are between 60.25 and 65.5. We've got 55 females. So in other words, what's the probability that this entire group of females are between these two values? So we're going to do something very similar here. We're going to take the smaller of the two values. We're going to subtract the mean. So let's start doing that now. We've got the smaller of the two values. We're going to subtract the mean, which is always 64.5. We're going to divide this by the standard deviation. But we have to make sure that we divide the standard deviation by the square root of n, which is 55. That's the size of our sample. And that's going to give us our z value for the smaller group. And that comes out to be minus, because that's the smaller females, that's minus 9.70. It's a very, very tiny z value. That's so many standard deviations from the mean that it almost doesn't exist. Our next one, we're going to take the upper bound. We're going to take the sample mean for big women, that's 65.5 inches. We're going to subtract our population mean of 64.5 again dividing by the standard deviation, but we're going to divide that standard deviation again by the square root of our sample size. And when we calculate this out, it's going to give us 2.28. So again, our question here is what is the percentage or the probability of being between minus 9.70 and I'm going to put a z there because we're using the z table. These are z values now. They're standard deviations. And 2.28. Again, I have to use the z table to figure this out. First, I need to know what's the area under the curve that is to the left of minus 9.7 standard deviations. And as you guys can imagine, there's going to be almost nothing there. The smallest area I have, if I scooch all the way over, is for negative 3.49, and that's at 0 .0002. So my feeling is that, and that's, that's actually a lot bigger than my value here. So this value is going to be less than, and I'll just put it at 0 .0001, but it's really going to be less than that. That's going to be for this first value. And actually, if you'll permit me, I'm going to write it down here below. Okay. Now for 2.28, I need to again use the z value and try to figure out what's the area under the curve up to 2.28. And let's see where that is. Okay, so here's 2.2. This is 2.20, 2.21, 3. Let's find 8. Let's actually find 8 up here and then we'll come back down for it. Okay, 8's this column. Okay, so 2.28 is right there. I think I've grabbed it. So that's 0.9887. All right, so that's the area up to that number of standard deviations. So that's, I'm going to write it up front here, 0.9887. Now again, I'm looking for the area between these two values, and that's why I am subtracting. I'm taking the area up to the first, up to the big value, and I'm subtracting away the area up to the smaller, which is almost negligible. And this gives me 0.9886 or, or so. So more than 98% of my group of females is between 60.25 and 65.5 inches. And that's what that tells me. 
All right, I'm going to again stop, and we're going to do a few more examples in part three.